You gotta dunk this in front of the rim. I came here today to see my dad's old high school. When I was there, I was 35, 50. Yeah, can we watch the game? The game's starting. Oh, no, watch out. Man, this is great to be back in this gym with RJ. It's hard to come out of Texas though in sports. Everybody's good. Tyler's my guy. We're kind of figuring out the things that he needs to work on for NBA teams. He did this before with Julius Randle, so it's good having that support system during the draft process. That's my job, is to tighten up the skills and, and let him show who RJ Hampton really is. So basically what I'm doing in rehab for my hit. You told me that you were 100%. When did this start happening? This happened this game. We're going to come up with a plan for the next 30 days. Honestly, it's just a lot of stretching, a lot of mobility. I'm trying to be more flexible, ice and heat you know, throughout the day um, just to get it back right. There it is. I don't think it's challenging to get over the injury. I think it's just like a lot of time spent on it. Very tedious, but now it's time to just work and work and work until the draft and you know see what this pre-draft process has to offer. Man, this is great to be back in this gym with RJ. Let's just go dynamic with it. Ooh, that felt good. Tyler's my guy, my guy first before basketball. <laughs> He's never gonna sugarcoat it with me, as you guys see. Lock the f in. That's offensive, right? And being in Australia, the only thing we could do was really text. So it's great to have him back. We're kind of figuring out the things that he needs to work on for NBA teams. Okay, through behind, I want you to go around the sideline with the f Lock it up. You know, he did this before with Julius Randle, so it's good having that support system uh, during the draft process. Go, quick! Good, I love it. That's my job, is to tighten up the skills and, and let him show who RJ Hampton really is. Get up, quick! Up! Up, good! Go! Third step! Step! Wait. Step! Good! We just go through a whole finishing process. One of the finishes was a first step off two feet, which is a uh, finish Russell Westbrook uses. Young Westbrook and is low. You gotta dunk this in front of the rim. Come back, come back. We start out with a lot of ball handling, especially with a guy like RJ. We want him to feel comfortable with the basketball. You know, from a guard position, he's going to be a playmaker. He's going to be coming off ball screens, ISO situations. So we want him to have the ball on a string, be able to get through his spots. And we're really working on his shooting, be able to catch and shoot. I can't lose. It's physically impossible for me to blow his head up. Yeah, never. We're cool. Yeah, I think you're trash. Yeah. I think he's going to be one of the better shooters in the league, honestly. So I can shoot for the start. Yeah. So the game's change. You know, you got to be able to space the floor no matter what. Shoot for the start. Yeah. You know, shooting is the key. So we'll do a lot of shooting throughout this process. So I can shoot for the start. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for like five years. You know, these kids are younger and they get younger. So RJ being just turning 19, it's trying to make him a pro. And it's a process that is different because he's gonna be doing two days and be lifting weights. One of my jobs is to make sure he's staying locked in throughout the whole process and he doesn't float throughout the workout. It's a big thing to stay locked in, understand, you know, get in the gym, get your working, get out, take care of your body throughout this whole process that we're doing. So it's time to lock in, we're here. You know, you're back. You know, you had your season where they can kind of play the way they wanted you to play. We got to work on shooting for three off the bounce. Your footwork, pickups, pick -ups, trying to get the spot. Well, I feel like that's the most important thing, though. If you can have handles and, like, not be able to show up the dribble because your pickups stuff. And we got to make sure your shot, that's, that's the number one key, because if you get space, and you know, we got a chance to be pretty good. I've seen what you did with Julius. You can see Julius has skyrocketed over the past couple of years. I want to be on that same path, and the way you push them, I want you to push me like that because I'm trying to be in, you know, in that same position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what our goal is. Goal, second contract. Go to the right place, second contract. We're going to work until we're great and then keep working. And working. I'm back home. Um, I haven't been in, in Little Elm basically at all since I've been back. You know, just going back, just to kind of, you know, you gotta remember where you come from, you know, being away for six, seven months, and plus being in New Zealand. So it's not like I was a flight away in like Georgia, or a flight away in Cali, like I was a 13, 14 hour flight away. So it was definitely like an adjustment. Cause those marks, when I get that 300 million max deal in about three, four, five years, we all moving to across from, we had a bunch of land, everybody gonna have a crib, you <laughs> feel me? In my house, we gonna have horses and you know, cattle, pigs, goats. 
And I mean, like, I drive a Range Rover now, but like, Coach Barker tell you, before I drove a Range Rover, I drove a, a lifted pickup truck, fam. In two years, I never washed it. It was always dirty. And it's just the life of growing up, I guess, in Texas. And finally, we are here. We are in Little Elm, Texas. So I'm gonna take y'all by my old house. Boom, this is my neighborhood. Some great memories over here. Probably could drive this neighborhood with my eyes closed. Ah, oh, does the garage open? Somebody at the house? Like, they live there. People like someone lived, like lived there. We sold the house. That's the crib right there to the right with the with the motorcycle. Buddy got a motorcycle at our crib, bro. What you doing? We looking suspicious. So like, let's go. <laughs> but that was it. <laughs> That was my old house right there. Knowing I'm leaving again in a couple months for uh, you know the NBA and the draft and probably not going to be here um, anymore. Um, so it was just really nice to come back. I came here today to see my dad's old high school. Can I get your alma mater, fam? Let me give you the history right quick if you're going. They may be nice. But when I was there, I was 35, 17, and 12, and 15. Yeah, you lost the game, the game started. Quadruple yeah, double. No, no, hold on, hold on. No, I don't care. No, I'm gonna tell you. But I don't so, care. whatever you see tonight, okay. put put some stank on it. Okay, okay, I wanna watch the game. Can I watch the game for him? Is that a hearing? Yeah. There's, there's like dripping? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm the king of Kimball High School. I love my school, and they're gonna get busy. Yes. It feels good, you know, coming back home. Been overseas for a long time, so, you know, it's straight. It's good to come back and, you know, just watch good basketball. I did miss Dallas, you know, I grew up here. I've been here 18 years, 19 years, so, you know, it was definitely a tough adjustment, but, you know, I got through it. I'm not gonna say that the people miss us, you know, because it is what it is, but the city embraced, our family embraced RJ, and you know, everywhere we go, we get love. It's cool, you know, uh, I work for this, so uh, I'm glad God put me in a position to be like this, so, you know, you gotta stay humble. You gotta say gracious, so you know I appreciate it. Yeah, it is, and that's the most workout one. It doesn't. Oh, we got a cramp. We have an abdomen cramp. Oh, Interesting. Week like one, abdomen cramp. Log. My name is Nate Barunda. I'm the co-founder at Mama Sports Academy, also the director of performance. Let's go 15. I'll strength in the rotator cuff, kind of warm up the upper body. Yeah, that's money. Give me like 15. Today we worked with RJ on a couple things. One was an overall workout uh, focused on upper body and core. Stabilize, reach to the top, and then bring it right back down. Perfect, we're doing five of those. So we're basically in phase one of the program, preparing the joints, preparing the ligaments for that uh, load that'll happen in phase two. Stabilize here. Stabilize with the core. Now all you're gonna do is a slight movement forward and backwards. Boom. Oh. Boom. Probably like six to eight inches. In and out. We worked on a couple injury prevention things. We got some treatment in, took care of opening up the hips. How's it feel? I just feel so much more loose than when I quiet and work down. So when we use that strap, right, and pull the hip like what are you actually doing? Trying to improve hip internal rotation. Like before we so started, good. my hip rotation was like crap. Yeah, so it's like 20, 24? Yeah. 45. It's improved my hip rotation a lot. And then on top of that, we were able to get him with Bayo to educate him on the post-workout recovery supplements as well as the pre. Don't do that. Oh yeah, that's just wow. Rookie mistake, no, uh, like, right there. Oh, no, like it really tastes like grass. Like just straight. Like if I went outside and just some grass. <laughs> that's what it tastes like. That's the green. It's good though. Wow. Mm. It's not the best taste, you know. So getting everything dialed in, fine tuning the details, making sure that everything's set to go. So as he hits the ground moving forward, the program is based around him. It's individualized to him. So that's the goals for the next couple weeks. But I feel like I just done, done everything today, bro. I feel like I've been here for days. What a day. Hey, RJ. What's good? Are you going to click on the meeting? Tyler and I are in it. 
so work for him. I guess we're smarter than you, huh? No, that's not that's not what it is at all. Johnny is over here. You gotta click the mic on, Click bro. the mic on, Einstein. <laughs> Tyler, he's 19, he's supposed to know all this shit. You and I are supposed to be the old dudes. Click the mic, bro. Oh, now I can hear y'all. Because of the coronavirus, the whole draft thing's up in the air, like, it's gonna be based on what the, happens with the season. That's wild. So vague, like, everything's super vague. No one knows what's going on. Any information you can give me is needed. What are the teams saying, like, the ones that you've talked to have? They like his size and athleticism. His shooting has to get more consistent. Yeah, I mean, I think the shooting is, is the key. I mean, your first step is crazy. But guys are going to play you, are going to give you two, three steps. Like, it just is what it is. So if you can make that three or make shots off ball screens, you know, then you're doing what, you, what you're naturally great at, which is getting downhill and making plays. Before all this happened, I saw you shooting with Tyler. Your shot looked way better. You know, for me, it was like, if he can show the shot change, I think it, I think that's huge. I think I'll know more tomorrow about if they're gonna continue the season or not, but like really, no one's gonna really know until they get through the month of April and know where things are with the CDC and health of the nation, really. All right, anything yeah. else, man? If not, we'll, uh, we'll reconvene again, maybe after I get this more information or next week. All right, cool. All right, Thanks, sounds Tyler. good. All right, y'all, thank you. All right, y'all. Next time on Life with the Hamptons. Everyone thought the draft was gonna be in June and then COVID hit. Being here in Memphis, I hope it raises my draft stocks. Mike's my guy. I've known Mike for about two and a half years now, almost. No better than to learn from somebody, you know, like Mike, one of the best shooters of all time. Brooke, that's perfect. Looking like RJ Nowitzki. I feel blessed to be able to purchase a home at 19. Welcome to Casa Dale Hampton. Walking across the stage, it was something you know that I wanted to do, and that my mom wanted me to do, and you know a bunch of my family. So it was you know nice to finally graduate. New flavors is lit. New flavors is lit. <laughs> Say, let me stop playing. Y'all need to quit playing too. We just brought back the sold out OT Play hoodies with a brand new flavor for y'all. Ooh, that's so special. Go check that out in the shop right now. And as always, check out more fire videos over here and don't forget to subscribe. Y'all know the deal, it's OT.